Have you ever wondered just how crucial safety is in the realm of air transportation, especially when it comes to dealing with dangerous goods? Well, it's a question that underscores the very essence of the aviation industry. Dangerous goods regulations, or DGR for short, are the cornerstone of safety in air transportation. These regulations, published by the International Air Transport Association, are globally adopted and followed by all key players in the industry, from airlines and freight forwarders to shippers. So, what exactly do these regulations entail? It all starts with the classification of dangerous goods. These goods are categorized based on their inherent properties and potential hazards. This classification is vital as it determines the packaging, labeling, and handling requirements for each type of dangerous good. The DGR also provides a comprehensive list of dangerous goods. This list covers everything from explosives and gases to flammable liquids and solids, not forgetting toxic and infectious substances, radioactive materials, corrosives, and a host of other dangerous goods. Once we've classified and identified these goods, the next step is packaging and marking. The regulations set out strict requirements for packaging to ensure the safe containment of these goods throughout their journey. Packages must be marked with specific labels and symbols indicating the nature of the contents within. Documentation is another crucial aspect of these regulations. Shippers must provide accurate and complete documentation for shipments of dangerous goods. This includes a shipper's declaration for dangerous goods, which details the contents, classification, packaging, and emergency response information. But, understanding and implementing these regulations isn't something that comes naturally. That's why training and certification programs are required for personnel involved in handling, packing, and transporting dangerous goods. This training ensures that everyone involved is aware of the regulations and can handle dangerous goods safely and effectively. Airlines themselves must also hold a Valid Air Operator Certificate, or AOC. This certificate, issued by the Aviation Regulatory Authority in their respective countries, includes specific provisions related to the transportation of dangerous goods. Given the potential security risks associated with certain dangerous goods, additional security measures are often put in place. These measures aim to prevent unauthorized access or tampering with shipments of dangerous goods. Emergency response procedures are also outlined in the regulations. These procedures detail how to respond to emergencies involving dangerous goods, including providing information to emergency responders and protocols for containing and mitigating incidents. And finally, to ensure all these regulations are followed, regular compliance monitoring is conducted. Aviation authorities, airlines, and relevant regulatory bodies carry out inspections and audits. Non-compliance can lead to penalties, fines, or other enforcement actions. In essence, the importance of adhering to dangerous goods regulations cannot be overstated. These regulations are designed to prevent accidents, protect passengers and crew, and minimize the environmental impact of transporting hazardous materials by air. They form the bedrock of safety in the aviation industry, a bedrock that we all rely on every time we take to the skies.